A central part of arranging a loved one's funeral is choosing a coffin. This is often an emotionally difficult decision, and it forces us to face the reality of loss. Coffins are most commonly made of either wood or metal, and range in style from understated to ornate. There are two styles of coffins. Full couch, models that have an undivided top to show the deceased from head to toe. Or perfection cut, that have a split top to show the deceased from only the waist up. This factory makes metal coffins, constructed from sheets of steel. To form the top, workers insert a sheet into a press. A die inside draws the metal into a panelled shape. This requires 900 tonnes of pulling force. After trimming the edges, workers insert the panel into an automated folding machine. Firstly, the machine bends both long sides upward, two bends of 90 degrees each. And secondly, it bends both short sides the same way. Then workers weld the corner seams. They also assemble and weld the coffin's sides, ends and reinforced bottom panels. They were also shaped in the press, but with a different type of die, which stamps rather than draws the steel. For a perfection cut coffin, they saw the top in half. Then weld steel to the cut end forming a header to give it a neatly finished look. An automated belt grinds all the welds flat to create a smooth finish. After cleaning, all the parts travel through a booth, inside which 20 automated spray guns coat them in powder paint. An electrical charge draws the powder particles onto the steel, giving a thorough and even coat which a giant oven then bakes for 20 minutes. Once the surface cools, workers inspect the paint finish to make sure it's flawless. Workers apply hot melt glue on the inside, along where the bottom and sides meet. This makes the body of the coffin watertight, and they conduct a water test to make sure. coffin is lined with crepe, a synthetic fabric which is formable when you apply heat. This specially designed machine heats the material with an iron, as serrated wheels gather it into decorative pleats, known as shearing. The high heat forms the fabric to this shape permanently. Sewers cut and sew the sheared fabric into lining components. Meanwhile, workers mount the coffin's steel hardware, either stationary handles or swing bar handles. They place a rubber gasket around the top edge to ensure a proper seal when the top is closed. Then they mount the top. By this point, they've already attached most of the interior fabric over an inner lining of corrugated cardboard. Now it's time to install the steel bed using an expandable rod. The bed height is adjustable, enabling funeral directors to elevate the deceased for easier viewing. A mattress pad and sheet go on top of the bed. Clips on each end hold them in place. A pillow completes the interior. Every coffin undergoes a thorough final inspection. Then it's delivered to the funeral directors. The funeral directors usually carry several sample pieces, showing the range of styles, colours, hardware and fabric options. And no matter what you choose, hopefully you'll rest in peace. <laughs>